We're live. Okay. All right. Good. I'm going to call this meeting to order. I just want to say that we apologize for being a few minutes late. We were having technical difficulties with regard to going live. Um, can everyone stand for the pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Reading of the minutes from the Board of Commissioners meeting, April 21, 2021. Do I have a motion to approve those minutes? So moved. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Proclamation presentation, 21-0126 regarding Mental Health Awareness Month. Chris? Yes. Okay. Whereas mental health is part of overall health, one in five adults experience a mental health problem in any given year. And the COVID-19 pandemic has increased the number of people experiencing feelings of anxiety and depression. Approximately one half of chronic mental illness begins by the age of 14 and three quarters by the age of 24. And whereas suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the United States and the second le leading cause among young adults, 90% of people who die by suicide had shown symptoms of mental health condition, according to interviews with family, friends, and medical professionals. And whereas early identification and treatment can make a difference in successful navigation of mental illness and recovery, we come together with every citizen and community to help end the silence and stigma that for too long has made people feel isolated and alone and discouraged people from getting help. Through public education and working together to raise awareness, we can help improve the lives of individuals and families affected by mental, mental illness. And now, therefore, we, Commissioners Debbie Dominic, Jerry Notariani, myself, Chris Shermack, Commissioners of Lackawanna County, Pennsylvania do hereby recognize and proclaim May 2021 to be Mental Health Awareness Month in Lackawanna County. Thank you. Thank you. The second proclamation 21-0127 is regarding Motorcycle Safety Awareness Month. Whereas our scenic highways, city streets, and county roads make the 40 municipalities of Lackawanna County a very, very popular destination for motorcyclists from around the country. And whereas the safe operation of a motorcycle requires using acquired skills developed through a combination of training and experience, good judgment, and thorough knowledge of traffic laws and licensing requirements. And whereas it is imperative that our residents be aware show consideration for and share the road with motorcycles on our streets and state highways, and also recognize the importance of motorcycle safety. And whereas the National Highway Safety, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has declared the month of May as Motorcycle Awareness Month, and the commissioners wish to join it in educating residents about the growing number of motorcyclists on Lackawanna County roadways. Working together, we can prevent accidents and most importantly, save lives. Now, therefore, we, Debbie Dominic, Jerry Notariani, and Chris Shermack, commissioners of the County of Lackawanna, Pennsylvania, do hereby recognize and proclaim May 2021 to be Motorcycle Safety Awareness Month in Lackawanna County. And I just wanna say that for, I, I still don't understand the no helmet um, requirement on motorcycles, but, um, they just if you're a motor if you drive a motorcycle wear a helmet because it could save your life and if you are on the road and not on a motorcycle but you're sharing the roadway with motorcyclists uh, be very careful and 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 just try to save lives because usually when these uh, accidents occur between motorcyclists and vehicles they're usually tragic and we'd like to prevent that in county roads and highways. Thank you. Well, I, I agree. I, I actually have a Harley of my own and I ride that. I do wear a helmet. Um, so just be aware of the motorcycles out there on the roads. I would appreciate that. And also with the mental health, um, 
just let everyone know the, the county courthouse is lit up in green for the month of May in recognition of uh, mental health awareness. So it's a big part of the county. And now with the new County Suicide Prevention Alliance, it, it, it means a lot. So thank you very much. Okay, opportunity for the public to address the board agenda items only. Trace? Hi, we received no emails today. Okay, we'll move on to resolutions. Resolution number 21-0125, uh, approving current payables. Brian? B, resolve the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approve the following payables. Lackawanna County General Fund numbers 320672-321240, inclusive totaling $3,614,521.93. Electronic fund transfers, including all payroll accounts, totaling $783,456.74. Adopted at a regular meeting, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on May 5th. 2021, Madam Commissioner. I'm assuming everybody's had an opportunity to review the current payables. Do I have a motion to approve? Motion. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 21-0117, awarding the home grant construction contract. Brian? Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna does hereby award the following home grant construction contract for the Grace Street Apartments Project to DNM Construction Unlimited Incorporated, 107 North Turnpike Road, P.O. Box 132 in Dalton, Pennsylvania, 18414. The lowest, most responsible, and qualified bidder for $702,500. Adopted at the regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on May 5th, 2021. Here to speak upon that, Madam Commissioner, is our Director of Economic Development, Ms. Brenda Sacco. Morning, everyone. Morning. Morning. This is a, a standard required agreement for the home program. Uh, this resolution states that the county is entering into a contractor agreement with DNM Construction Unlimited for the Grace Street Apartment Project in the amount of 702,500. DNM was the lowest, most responsible bidder, and this project will provide renovations for a multifamily affordable housing project in Old Fort. Does anyone have any questions? Okay, do I have a motion to approve resolution 21-0117? Moved. Second. 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 On the question, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Resolution 21-0118, entering into a cooperation agreement with the Borough of Elephant. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna is hereby authorized and to, to enter into a cooperation agreement with the Borough of Elephant for the Olifant Borough Kimberly Circle Street Improvement Project. Be it further resolved that the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna does hereby award the following Community Development Block Grant Construction Contract for the Borough of Olifant, the Kimberly Circle Improvement Project to Waco Incorporated, 198 O'Connell Road, Mayfield, Pennsylvania, the lowest, most responsible and qualified bidder for $62,307.40. Adopted at a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on May 5th, 2021. Once again, Madam Commissioner, here is Director Sacco. Uh, this is a standard required agreement for the CDBG program, and this resolution states that the county is entering into the cooperation agreement with the Borough of Oliphant and a contractor agreement with Waco. And again, they were the lowest, most responsible bidder for the Oliphant Borough Kimberly Circle Street Improvement Project in the amount of $62,307.40. Does anyone have any questions? Nope. Okay, do I have a motion to approve resolution 21-0118? Uh, motion. Do I have a second? Second. And the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 21-0119, entering into a cooperation agreement with the Borough of Clark Summit. Brian? Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna is hereby authorized to enter into a cooperation agreement with the Borough of Clark Summit for the Clark Summit Borough Building 88 Elevator Reconstruction Project. Be it further resolved, the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna does hereby award the following Community Development Block Grant Construction Contract for the Borough Building's ADA Elevator Reconstruction Project 
Current Elevator Technology, 129 Maple Drive, Shalola, Pennsylvania, the lowest, most responsible and qualified bidder for $126,000. Adopted at a regular meeting, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on May 5th, 2021. Once again, Madam Commissioner, here is Director Sacco. Uh, this is another CDBG project, and, and this is, uh, again, the required documents, the cooperation agreement and the contact contractor agreement this time it is with Current Elevator Technology and it's for the Clark Summit Borough Building ADA Elevator Reconstruction Project in the amount of $126,000. And they, again, were the lowest, most responsible bidder. Any questions? Okay, do I have a motion to approve 21-0119? So Second. On the question? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 21-0120, entering into a cooperation agreement with the Borough of Blakely. Brian. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna is hereby authorized to enter into a cooperation agreement with the Borough of Blakely for the Blakely Borough Mott Haven Section 3 Improvement Project. Be it further resolved that the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna does hereby authorize, or hereby award, I'm sorry, the following community development block grant construction contract for the Borough of Blakely. New Enterprise Stone and Lime Company, 215 East Sailor Avenue, Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania, the lowest and most responsible qualified bidder for $102,025.65. Adopted at a regular meeting, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on May 5th, 2021. Once again, Madam Commissioner, here is Director Sacco. Uh, this is again a CDBG project, this time in the borough of Blakely. Uh, so we have a cooperation agreement with Blakely and a contractor agreement with the New Enterprise Stone and Line Company. And they were the lowest, most responsible bidder. And it's for the Mott Haven Section 3 Improvement Project in the amount of $102,025.65. Anyone have any questions? No. Okay, hey, do I have a motion to approve resolution 21-0120? Motion. Second. And the question. All in favor? Aye. Resolution 21-0121, approving an addendum with the Career Technology Center. Brian. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County, on behalf of the Lackawanna County Workforce Development Board, do hereby approve an addendum with the Career Technology Center in accordance with the Pennsylvania Department of Labor and Industry approval of the Business Education Financial Agreement. Adopted the regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on May 5th, 2021. Once again, here is Director Sacco. This resolution states that the county on behalf of the Workforce Development Board is amending an agreement with the Career Technology Center to extend the date of completion of a business education partnership grant from June 30th, 2021 to June 30th, 2022 the original agreement was executed in October of 2020, and that agrees for um, or allows for an amendment for these such services. Does anyone have any questions? No. Okay. No one has any questions for Brenda. Do I have a motion to approve 21-0121? Moved. Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you, Brenda. Bye. Thanks, Brenda. Resolution 21-0122, approving a contract extension with the Scranton Cultural Center, Brian. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approve a contract extension with the Scranton Cultural Center on behalf of the Lackawanna County Courts for the COVID-19 court relocation rental to begin June 1st, 2021 and, and June 30th, 2021. Rental of spaces are the Weinberg Theater and Lobby, the Grand Ballroom and Lobby, and Weinberg Stage, and to include increased maintenance and disinfecting sound systems and internet access with a cost of $13,850 per month. Adopted at a regular meeting, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on May 5th, 2021. Commissioners, what we're doing here is extending out our contract with the Scranton Cultural Center for uh, jury selections uh, up to the end of June. Uh, we feel we the courts need to use one more month down there um, until the uh, end of June. And then we will probably in all likelihood go back to the courthouse in the fall. Um, so we're extending this out for 30 more days. Does anyone have any questions for Brian? Do I have a motion? Do I have a motion to approve 21-0122? Motion. Second. On the question, all in favor? 
Aye. 21-0123, authorizing a contribution to the Scranton plan, Brian. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby authorized to make a contribution to the Scranton plan of the Greater Scranton Chamber of Commerce in the amount of five annual installments of $15,000 for the years 2021 through 2025. Adopted at the regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on May 5th, 2021. Commissioners, the county has been proud to be a supporter of the Scranton plan over the years. Um, during the past year and, and uh, the, the prior administration, we have fell off with our help with them with their Scranton plan. The commissioners are proud to be partners with the Scranton Chamber of Commerce. They've been vital to us in the past and also during the pandemic. And they, we look forward to being partners with them in the future. They are uh, very good. They've been very, very helpful to us, uh, especially distributing funds and helping people get back on their feet during this pandemic. We're proud to be helpful with them also. Anybody have any questions? Okay, do I have a motion? Was there do I have a motion to approve 21-0123? Motion. Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 21-0124, enter, entering into an intergovernmental agreement. Brian. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County do hereby approve and enter into an intergovernmental agreement by and between the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County the Office of the Sheriff of Lackawanna County, and the Court of Common Pleas of Lackawanna County Domestic Relations Section for services of assigned deputy sheriffs to serve bench warrants and execute personal service for the establishment and enforcement of support obligations as required. Subject to the availability of federal funds, this agreement shall run through September 30th, 2025. Adopted at a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on May 5th, 2021. Commissioners, here to speak upon that is our Director of Domestic Relations, Ms. Kathy Hardaway. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we're seeking approval for the intergovernmental agreement, as was said by Mr. Jeffers, between the Board of Commissioners, <laughs> Sheriff's Office, Court of Common Pleas, and specifically the Domestic Relations Section. The sheriff and deputies assigned to the DRS shall maintain detailed records of service and time spent on reimbursable activities. I do feel it's important to mention the reimbursement is for salary and benefits at the current federal participation rate of 66%. Um, this does not require additional hiring of sheriff deputies. They will assign current employees of the deputies department, therefore, uh, the county will be reimbursed and the general fund will receive um, salary and fringe benefits for those deputies. The deputies are, uh, will be assigned 40 hours per week unless needed by the sheriff's office to perform other duties. Any additional questions? No. Okay, so I have a motion to approve 21-0124. Motion. Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Kathy. Thank you very much. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, Kathy. Uh, resolution 21-0130. Entering Agreement. I'm sorry, Brian. That's <laughs> quite all right. My mistake. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby enter into a road maintenance agreement with the City of Scranton for the city's designation of a one-way street and county maintenance of the 300 block of Center Street to commence May 1st, 2021. Adopted at a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on May 5th, 2021. Madam Commissioner, here to speak upon that is our solicitor, Mr. Frank Rosario. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, the uh, agreement uh, simply memorializes uh, the uh, arrangement between the city of Scranton and the county of Lackawanna relative to the county's use of the 300 block of Center Street to access our garages, loading docks, and other points of ingress and egress uh, to the Lackawanna County Government Center. Uh, the county has requested that the city of Scranton uh, allow the 300 block of Center Street to be made a one-way uh, street to facilitate access to the Government Center. It would run from Wyoming Avenue to Penn Avenue um, the agreement is slated to, uh, uh, the term of the agreement is uh, yearly. Uh, there is no remuneration between the county and the city other than the $1 consideration. Uh, I've reviewed the agreement, everything's appropriate. Uh, this is an agreement I'd recommend the commissioners in arrange. Okay, 
Thank you. Any questions? Okay, do I have a motion to approve resolution 21-0130? So, second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 21-0129, appointments to the Lackawanna County Planning Commission. Ryan. Madam Commissioner, I believe we are doing the cooperative agreement first. Oh, I'm sorry. That's quite mm -hmm. all right. All right, and that one is? 21-0131. Okay. okay. Um, and that is the entering into a cooperation agreement. Go ahead. Thank you. We get resolved the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby enter into a cooperative cooperative grant agreement with the Pennsylvania Department of Aging for the period of July 1st, 2021 through June 30th, 2025 in the amount of $5,835,043 per fiscal year. Adopted at a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on May 5th, 2021. Madam Commissioner, here to speak upon that is our Director of Area of Aging, Mr. Jason Kovulich. Hi, Jason. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, this is our this is this is our aging agreement, and it is the base funding. It is eighty eight percent of the funding that the Lackawanna County Area Agency on Aging receives. It is our lottery dollar funding, um, and, and it is the the it is the agreement that we have with the Department of Aging as to how we implement and and you know uh, provide aging services in our community. Uh, the agreement only has primarily language um, changes. There's not any real substantive changes. One change that I would like to highlight is there, there was in the previous agreement, a, a section that allowed for the Department of Aging to penalize an area agency on aging if they were out of compliance. Uh, the, the secretary and the team uh, in Harrisburg have removed that section in this, this new agreement. They don't feel that uh, penalizing an agency financially will get them the results that they, they would like to see in, in terms of improving a performance. Um, but, but other than that, it is primarily just language changes in terms of using different verbiage than they have in previous agreements. Anybody have any questions for Jason? No, nope, thank you. Do I have a motion to approve 21-0131? Moved. Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. Thanks, Jason. Jason. Thank you, Jason. Okay, I got ahead of myself. Now we're on 21-0129, appointments to the Lackawanna County Planning Commission. Brian. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby reappoint the following individuals to the Lackawanna County Planning Commission. Rosemary Broderick. Lakewood Drive, South Abington Township, and for a four-year term to begin immediately and expire on de December 31st, 2024. Harry Lindsay, Lawrence Avenue, Music, a four-year term to begin immediately and expire on December 31st, 2022. Tom Owen Jr. of West Strait State Street in Archbold, a four-year term to begin immediately and expire on December 31st, 2023. And Jermaine Carey of 505 Gladiola Drive, Clark Summit, a four-year term to begin immediately and expire on December 31st, 2024. And be it further resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby appoint the following individuals to the Lackawanna County Planning Commission. Uh, Carol Scramali of East Drinker Street in Dunmore, a four-year term to begin immediately and expire on December 31st, 2023. Chet Murley of 104 Oxwell Street in Packville, four-year term to begin immediately and expire on December 31st, 2024. And Tony Grisanti of Hemlock Street in Germany, four-year term to begin immediately and expire on December 31st, 2024. Adopted at a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on May 5th, 2021. And Commissioner, these are individuals who have been reappointed and those who have sought some seats onto the Planning Commission uh, that we've spoken with Ms. Sacco about, and uh, she approves of all these individuals. Okay, any questions? Do I have a motion to approve 21-0129? Motion. Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opportunity for the public to address the board. Aye, we still have received no emails. Okay. There's other business. Um, so we did a letter to the Lackawanna County Prison Correction Officers um, that I'd just like to read um, in honor of them. 
Uh, it says, Dear Lackawanna County Prison Correction Officers, today marks the 41st anniversary of President Ronald Reagan designating this week as National Correctional Officers Week. It is also a day that gives us an opportunity to honor and recognize all women and men serving in the Lackawanna County's uh, correction system. This is a special week to celebrate and bring awareness to the importance, either as a correction officer or support, support staff, and the significance of your profession. In 1996, Congress expanded the honor to include all the women and men working in corrections. National Correctional Officers and Employees Week is a fitting occasion to honor all our employees at the prison. As President Reagan wrote in the original proclamation, the professionalism, dedication, and courage exhibited by these officers throughout the performance of these demanding and often conflicting roles deserve our utmost respect. The important work of correctional officers often does not receive the recognition from the public it deserves. It is appropriate that we honor the many contributions and accomplishments of these men and women who are a vital component of the field of corrections. On behalf of the residents of Lackawanna County, we dedicate, dedicate, <laughs> dedicate today to you, our unseen public servants. We recognize the sacrifices that you make every day. We wanna take the opportunity to honor, salute, and thank all the women and men who serve in corrections. So we just wanna give a shout out to everybody working in any prison system, but particularly in ours. Anything else? No. Nope. Um, just thanks to uh, Brendan that with our tax sale last week, it was very successful, a lot of hard work. So thanks for that. Um, last night we had an unpre unprecedented storm here in, in the Mid Valley area and locally it, it devastated some of these roads. These guys have been out working all night. The DPW crews, our, our roads and bridges guys, they've gotten the, the messes for the most part cleaned up. It was, it's bad up here. Um, so thank you to all those folks. And just remember everybody get vaccinated. We're getting close. Get out, get your second one if you didn't, and get your first one, especially if you didn't get that. We can get back to normal here. Thank you. Hey, Brian, I believe you have a couple things you would like to yes, say. Yes, Mr. Four, four items for the, for the public uh, real quick. And, and uh, the first one is touching on exactly what Commissioner Shermack has talked about, about the flooding uh, <laughs> in the Mid Valley. I think it's important that we... Uh, let the people know what is closed out there. Um, Dundaff Street in, in Dixon City was going to be closed until approximately 3 p.m. Uh, the Old State Road and Schoolhouse Road in, in Monroe Township towards North Enverland Township is also being closed. I'm reading this right from the, uh, the Times website that Dave Hahn uh, sent in earlier. Uh, in uh, the Scranton Carbonell area, the highway, the state route of 309, which is Laurel Hill, that's going to be opening up soon. Uh, we just want everyone to know the floodgates in Scranton are going to be opening up soon. And uh, just to be careful out there while the public works people are out cleaning up the streets. Number Item number two, the ballot box. Ballot boxes have been delivered to the following locations. Carbondale City Hall, Clark Summit Municipal Building, Dixon City Municipal Building, Music Municipal Building, Roaring Brook Municipal Building. And of course, we have ours in the Lackawanna County Government Center here, which we will be open till seven o'clock at night receiving uh, any mail-in ballots. All these, these uh, locations can receive mail-in ballots from anywhere in Lackawanna County. You just don't have to be able to, you don't have to live in that particular area. You can drop it off any, any one of these. Uh, item number three, our vaccines. Um, we are, we're talking about uh, opening up the state on, on Memorial Day. Uh, we are at currently in the, the mid-60 percentile uh, here in Lackawanna County. We have 108,015 people with at least one dose in them. Uh, we would like to see that number raised between 10 to 15,000 people more so that we can uh, open up on a general basis and uh, get back to a sense of normalcy around here. That number between 10 and 15,000 will get us to the 70% to 75 percentile of, of individuals vaccinated in this county. I'm sure everyone is aware that our county is still running third in the state for most vaccinations, only behind uh, Montour and Forest counties. Um, so we're very pleased with our providers. We're very pleased with all of the, the county workers that have uh, helped uh, make this possible. And we will still have clinics coming up. And you can go to our website 
And you can click on our orange, our orange button and find out where vaccines are being available at this very moment in time. And you can call and get an appointment to go get vaccinated. We encourage everyone to get vaccinated as soon as possible. Finally, the last thing I just want to recognize real quick, our retirement of our EMA director, Mr. Richard Barbolish. Mr. Barbolish has been with us almost close to 40 years. I mean, 30 years. 35 years, Chris, what was it? Well, 20, almost 27. 27 years. To be exact. <laughs> uh, we had a little going away for him yesterday. Uh, we will miss him dearly. He was a great, great uh, and vital supporter of our uh, everything with the EMA, Pima, FEMA, anybody that any time that we needed something, he was a great guy to go to. He was very helpful with all the uh, vaccination sites and everything that he's put into our, our uh, county over the last 30 years will be sorely missed. Um, his replacement is a very good qualified individual, Mr. Tom Taylor, and uh, we look forward to working with him in the future too. That's all I have. Well, he was, he was tested last night, so he, he, he did okay. Right. right. <laughs> so, and, and I think before when I was thanking Brenda, I think I said, I meant to say Barb Linity. So thank you, Barb, if I did say that. It's been a long morning. So That's all I have, Madam Commissioner. I missed the party, unfortunately, yesterday. So to Mr. Barbolish, I wish you all the best. Um, well, I, any... I ate your cake for you. I yes, your he did. That's just mean. Chris. <laughs> I, I had your hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Uh, anything else from anyone? All right, I'll take a motion for adjournment. Motion. Second. Um, uh, on the question. <laughs>